What if evolution didn't reward dominance, intelligence, or competition, but kindness? Let's think some alternative history. What if the trait that kept you alive wasn't ambition or aggression, but empathy? How different would the world look? Who would we even be? If kindness had been the winning evolutionary strategy, I think humanity's story would have unfolded in a completely different genre. Not Game of Thrones, more like the Great British Bake Off. It's not just random thought. Evolutionary biologists like Trivers and David Sloan Wilson have already showed through reciprocal altruism and group selection that cooperative groups out-survive selfish ones. So the blueprint was already there, we just evolved the mixed version. In the world that could have been, empires probably never formed, because aggression wouldn't be sexy, compassion would. Alexander the Great might have been Alexander the Considerate, ending conflicts with therapy circles instead of cavalry. The Roman Empire might have peaked as a federation of farmer philosophers comparing irrigation tips. And perhaps no crusades, no colonization, because forced assimilation doesn't pass natural selection when empathy earns more offspring than power. Now with competition dialed down, progress will probably slow, but probably more stable. No arms race, so no Manhattan Project, probably no space race, maybe no Silicon Valley. There is a global network of wellness valleys sharing free medical cures and sustainable farming. Studies by Harvard researchers Dr. Laura Krubsansky and Dr. Tyler Van Der Reel found links between volunteering and lower risk of mortality and lower physical pain, or higher physical function in old age. What if kindness makes life expectancy soar? We probably never invent caffeine because nobody's that stressed anymore. We'd miss out on some extremes too. No renaissance angst to push Michelangelo into the Sistine Chapel ceiling. No heartbreak symphonies from Beethoven. No war photography from Kappa. Although if that meant no war, I'll take it. Art becomes communal, not confessional. Beautiful, but maybe never tragic. Now in this timeline, base attraction between people already favors calm emotional regulation. Confidence still exists, it just sounds softer. Casanova writes 100 ways to respect boundaries. Shakespeare's tragedies become well-timed interventions. Romeo writes a letter to Juliet. Maybe let's sleep on this? Family structures might evolve differently too. Oxytocin-rich societies form broader kinship networks. So less jealousy, less ownership, more chosen families, probably less therapy bills. Without rivalry, there's also little reason to explore or compete. However, many times that may not be bad. Columbus never sails. He's too busy collaborating with local ecologists. Edison doesn't chase the light bulb. He decides people sleep better in candlelight. The world remains peaceful, but dimly lit. Maybe Tesla's inventions still stay with him. Progress still happens, it just moves at a monk's pace. We might have perfect sustainability and maybe still use snail mail. Would you give up modern comforts if it meant living in a highly peaceful, compassionate, and safe society? I think if the whole world was like that, I'd absolutely love that. This world isn't devoid of kindness, I felt it's not nearly enough. Maybe that's why I'm exploring this what if. Be gentle with yourself. What do you think that society would look like?